uh, hello everyone in this video I'll be talking about how to do conjoint analysis using R, R studio okay in previous video we have seen what is the concept of uh, conjoint analysis if you have not seen that video kindly go back uh, try to understand the conjoint analysis concept and then come back here and in this video we are going to use R studio and first we'll try to generate uh, conjoint cards and then we'll try to analyze um, how uh, with some given data set we'll see how conjoint analysis gives us the results so here here is the R studio uh, in R studio I have these codes okay so uh, in our if you remember our previous example uh, we have used that uh, case study of uh, mobile case studies if you remember uh, we were trying to uh, create the conjoint cards with this uh, four attributes operating system connectivity price and camera and each uh, attributes are having different levels and with these different levels if we go for a factorial design of combination so 3 into 4 into 5 into 5 that is different levels if you multiply that it was giving us the 300 uh, combinations but 300 combinations if you are trying to take a survey uh, the efficiency will not be there so we have to apply orthogonal design so that is what uh, that is what we are going to do in R studio so in R studio if you have a look at it so first and foremost you have to open the uh, library conjoint if you have not installed the conjoint package kindly go back to packages and click on the installation button and install the conjoint package I have already installed this so I'm directly going for library conjoint so if you have not installed the conjoint you can just type here uh, conjoint okay so you can download this package similarly you download the package called xlsx okay so I'm just running these two packages which I have already downloaded so you can see the output in the below console console box and it is running the package xls okay now i have given the description that our uh, case study says there are uh, three attributes okay i mean for these uh, example sake i have taken three attributes os stands for operating system okay and os is an operating system it's these three are its levels okay price is an attribute it has one two three four up to five different pricing uh, five levels okay and the camera has again um, camera attribute has five different combinations so to write this uh, different combinations you have to first um, you have to write the attributes and its level that is the step one so how do we write uh, attributes and its level we have to uh, I'm just giving it name as experiment okay is equal to expand dot grid uh, you can use this function and open the bracket and type your attributes and your levels okay this is the step one 